Welcome to the channel. I am Charlie. Today I got Fiat Talento 2019 model. Basically, this car went to the couple of garages and after that he went to the third garage. Third garage refer me. We'll see what's going on there. Basically, customer complain, no power, engine management light on and suspect block DPF but I don't know because this car went to the couple of garages little bit modification inside might be they reset the light might be they try to relearn in some values everything now upside down and came to me after three garages we'll see what's going on first of all however I need to plug in my computer this is 1.6 engine computer port underneath here need to remove this one and this is the inside you can see that's a computer port now i'm going to start the car right you can see check anti-pollution system that's a one sign there and also you can see this side engine management light on that's a problem we can see visually however customer told me here this clutch pedal also half away down when you work with the cars have a look see now when I lift up it's up see something not right at the clutch pedal anyway while we work around we had to identify the old things because sometimes some customers good some customers not good oh Charlie I came nicely to you now my clutch going down but however we know sometimes customers not understanding sometimes customer totally understood and he need to pass someone the ball be careful when you work with the car don't concentrate only your job concentrate other job also well because we never know we are the turning point anyway small tip for you right okay now next step like this problem i need a definitely computer support right i'm going to take a high speed scan report right i can see only one faulty code under ecm We'll see what is that right p 253 f dash 29 engine oil deteriorated signal signal invalid because of this oil deteriorated message i feeling this car into the couple of garages they might be done the force region they might be done something else or sometime actually this car overdue service i'm not sure exactly what's going on right only the that faulty code right okay now we know the problem because like this problem your dpf can be blocked because of the this oil problem we had to sort out Anyway, at the moment, I'm not going to check anything. I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm going to the live data. Right. I got the all live data. You can see the boost pressure bit high. And I feeling that sensor line slightly blocked. I had to clean that one. And DPF pressure. At the moment, I am happy with the DPF pressure and the suit in DPF 9.64. Yeah, at the moment, figures I am happy. I need to sort out that oil dilution problem. Then after that, I am going to clean that sensor tube, boost pressure sensor tube. It's a little bit high. Then after that, it 
should be okay. First of all, before I going to change oil, I'm going to the engine bay, switch off the car. Right. <clears throat> we'll see how about the oil level and how about the oil thickness. Oil very dark. And I'm going to check the oil level first. Oil level slightly low. This is the maximum level. This is the low level in between, but it doesn't matter. I can smell diesel smell in the oil and oil very black and very runny. Basically, that's why the oil dilution problem. Right, definitely this car need a oil change because oil very runny. That's why the dilution and I already checked with the customer, customer confirmed after the last service he done more than 15,000 miles basically either way because the already service due and the dilution problem there then because of that 100% this car need a change engine oil and oil filter as a first step then after that what I'm going to do you can see here this is the the exhaust pressure sensor what I'm going to do I'm going to remove from here remove the exhaust sensor because there is a underneath the what do you call the clip there then I'm going to remove that sensor then after that we are going to fix this cable to the this drill then after that lock the thing right it's locked then after that we install to the tube or pipe after that send up and down while it's turning we are going to send up and like this down then after that that line inside that line going to be clear up nicely right first step do the engine oil oil filter after that remove that sensor then clean the that tube and after that I'm going to take to the motorway and have a look is it everything work well if it yes okay otherwise I'm going to clean the DPF at the moment I'm not too much worried about the DPF because at the moment it's in certain correct side of the shoot load then I'm not too much worried do this too then after that I'm going to take to the motorway journey with the live data we already change engine oil we done the oil service I'm going to give a small tip right you can see oil level hold on I'm going to wipe a little bit see the don't going to come for a fully top level little bit lower the top level make a space because diesel car if you feel over the level then the vehicle identify too much engine oil there be careful because always good batteries little bit lower the top level safer side don't go to overfill low close to the maximum level little bit lower you are fine and already I done the clean that uh, the tube pipe basically all done now I done the engine bay I'm happy then after that I need to go with the 
computer and going to reset oil service light before that I had to go special function oil controlling system oil dilution calculation right I reset the light for the oil controlling system then after that I am going to start the car switch off and also I done the resetting I forget to tell you now I need to reset service light first we'll see what's the service thingy there I'm going with this arrow key no message in the memory service interval then press and hold this button right I'm going to press and hold this button. Ignition all no ready. Right. It's coming to the 6000 mile and 21 months. I'm going to release this button. Then again, press and hold this button. Top arrow button. Keep holding. Right. It's blinked. Keep holding. Right. You can see it's came to the 25,000 miles and 24 months. Now, oil reset done, all done. Now, I'm going to start the car. Have a look at the dashboard now. No any warning for the oil dilution, no any warning for the engine management. Now, I'm going back here and I'm going to okay, cancel go back go back and I'm going to take a faulty codes left there for the right still that faulty codes there now what I'm going to do I'm going to switch off ignition on and first I'm going to read again yeah, and clear DTC, right, right, you can see now, no faulty codes, I'm going back and again, try to read no faulty codes, I'm going to switch off and start, again, switch off and start. Again, I'm going to do the same thing three times, right. Now, again, I'm going to take a faulty codes. You can see still no any faulty code. That's a good sign. And after that, I have a enough fuel, more than half a tank there, right. Now, I'm going to leave it running another half an hour to until temperature going up once the temperature going up I'm going to take to the motorway and have a look what's going on for the DPF system at the moment I'm keep it running for 45 minutes right I got the all light data I needed and also make it zero the mileage now I'm get ready for the motorway journey While I do the road test, I can hear some boost leak or something underneath for the driver side in the front. I don't know you all hear that one. But once I go to garage, I had to check that one. What's going on for the that boost noise? I'm not sure. I'm going steady 2000 RPM. However, this is the maximum speed we can go for a here because it's 40 miles per hour then after might be 500 yards we are okay for the little bit faster I'll see yeah 
and I'm going with my live data at the moment all okay for me once I go to the garage I'll come back to you to the motorway journey you can see 19.4 miles covered but while I on the motorway I saw the temperatures going up and the DPF in the correct level now you can see the at the moment idle 6 HPA and the while I rave it RPM 2500 yeah at the moment it's 25 25 millibar so hpa right that's in the correct level everything uh went fine but however i didn't see the region process happen maybe because we clean it however i noticed one more thing underneath here like a slightly air leak or something I don't know. Look like to me something like a leaking, maybe exhaust or air. I need to find out. Before that, I'm going to exit from here, stop, and I'm going to start. Stop start and after that I'm going to exit from this menu going to take a read for the engine management you can see that's another good sign and no faulty code all going fine but however I'm going to jack it up the car and have a look past the noise for the like uh, air leaking or something I'm not sure if it not something right underneath i'm going to sort out if it all right underneath i'm going to happy the job however i'll come back to you once i jack it up the car go underneath and have a look first then i'll come back to you and have a look can you rev Okay. Can you rev? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure, but I'm feeling something leaking or something more rattling to be honest i can't find anything underneath then i'm happy i'm going to hand over a car like that if it's something not right he will come back to me i know definitely right if you have a like this problem oil dilution dpf block because of the oil problem dpf can clog up because what happened if the oil not right then the onboard computer identify your oil not right then it will stop regen process that's why the most common problem after that clog up the dpf that's why normal thing going to happen however done the oil service reset the light relearn the values clean the turbine pipe and uh, yeah now after the motorway journey all fine for me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.